fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and the hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Honest men and criminals were attracted to the western United States when the territory was first opened to settlers. The honest men turned to ranching and prospecting, but the outlaws plundered their ranches and stole their claims. No man's life or property were safe until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for justice. It was he who brought law and order to the frontier, and it was he who made the West safe for the generations that have followed in the footsteps of the pioneers. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Arizona Pete has escaped from jail! We've got to hurry! Hello, Silver! Away! <laughs> Ezra Holton was a prospector, and with his wife, he had spent the best years of his life in a fruitless search for gold. We find him now as he returns home from the assay office, and... Well, you got back sooner than I thought you would, Ezra. What's up? I, I was too broke to stay around town, Millie. Well, just as well you was broke. Sakes alive, I can't understand why you always have to buy drinks for all the men that hangs around the Grandview Bar. Most of them have more money to spend than you have any day of the year. I am... Uh... I heard some more stories about that there old ranger, Millie. Don't you talk to me about that there master, hombre. I've heard you tell about things he does till I'm tired of listening. Half of them ain't true, no how. But they are too, Millie. Sheriff Curry was telling us today about that big white horse he rides. Hmm. Seems to me all I hear is a lone ranger. That's in the claims you're someday going to have. Yeah, but he says, Sheriff Curry does, that he's seen this here lone ranger once when he was frightened mad. And doggone the way he told her what he'd done. Well, what did he do? Well, it seems it was a fella died over Washoe way and left his wife and a kid of ten all alone. And Arizona Pete come in and tried to rob her of all the gold her man had left. And Arizona Pete ought to be hung. There's anyone around here but could catch him. Hey, let me tell you, Millie. Pete had seven of his men with him. Bad uns. Half-breeds they was. And they was all laughing at this here widow and making to steal her grub as well as her money. I ain't interested. I got enough to worry about without one of Sheriff Curry's young. But hold on, Millie. Let me tell you the rest of it. There ain't so much. Well, all right then. But make it short. Well, while them outlaws was there, all of a sudden they heard a clatter of hoofs outside and a shout of, Whoa, Silver! And Pete and his men looked up, and what do you think they see? What? There in the door of the witty shack stands a lone ranger. All they can see of his face is his chin and mouth. The rest is hid by a black mask. Go on. Well, he stands there a minute. Then he tells them breeds to clear out. And they just stand there looking at him and laughing. They see his guns were still in the holsters. And they knew that one a man alive could beat Arizona Pete to the draw. So they just stands there waiting to see what's going to happen. Yeah? What did happen? Finally, Pete goes for his gun. 
And that was where he made his mistake. Because just like that, there's a roar of guns, and this here Lone Ranger still standing there and covering the whole bunch. But what did he do? My gosh, Millie, afore anybody could think, he'd outdrawed Arizona Pete and shot his gun clean out in his hand. And the seven breeds in Arizona was covered as neat as a whisker. Sakes alive. Then the sheriff himself rides up, and the Lone Ranger turns them outlaws over to him personal. Well, what about the widow? Well, seems the widow packed up what little stuff she had and got ready to leave the house. Didn't take her long to do it, neither. What for? Well, she's heading back east where she come from. The Lone Ranger told the widow not to worry, but to hitch up a team and drive to the nearest railroad station, and he'd see that nothing hurt her. And you believe this young? Oh, the sheriff ain't given to lying, Millie. <laughs> and he never saw such shooting as that fella done. Shot Arizona's gun clear across the room and never touched his hand. <laughs> And why's it got him? Oh, what do you mean? Arizona's still loose, ain't he? Well, he busted loose from the jail, but that weren't no one's fault. It's just because we ain't got a good enough jail to hold that hombre. And up till now, there ain't been no man slick enough to catch him and put him in jail. In the likely story. What's more, the sheriff looked around afterwards and found the bullet the masked man used. And it was solid silver. Silver bullets, silver shoes for his horse. Silver's the horse's name. <laughs> Well, sounds like a doggone fairy story. Well, it's the truth. And someday, Millie, you'll believe it. Well, now you've gotten it off your chest, Ezra. What do you say, officer? Tell you about that last ore you dug out. Nothing. Nothing? They got a new man in charge there now, Millie. And he says I'll have to go back tomorrow for the report. Maybe I got some real pay dirt this time, huh? Oh, Ezra, you poor old fool. You'll never get nothing digging around. Why don't you give it up and take me back east? When I think we might die out in this awful place, I oh, just gosh, don't know. Millie, I, I always gets just about discouraged and ready to quit. Then I find some dirt that looks like there might be gold in it, and I gets all worked up again. You've been all worked up about some claim or other, Ezra, no less than a hundred times. And every time is the same thing. Fool's gold. I know, but this, this time... This time, rubbish. Uh, I tell you, Ezra, some folks is born to get rich and there's others to be humble, and we belong to that group. I know. I know, Millie, but the good Lord won't help them that ain't willing to keep on a trying. I sometimes think the good Lord forgets all about folks when they come out in this country. I never know from one day to the next when you get shot down or strung up. But I don't do nothing wrong. It does a lot of other poor folks. They get blamed for things, and they get hard luck just the same. Oh, Millie, I try hard. Oh, well, never mind. Where is this here new gold mine you think you found? About nine miles north of the town. Those samples I dug look better than any I've ever seen. Every sample you bring in looks better than the last one to you. And look how they all turn out. Likely it's not this and the same as the rest. Just to see, Millie, the new fellow over to the assay office didn't say right off that it was worthless, like they always used to. That's only because he's new. Here, wash your face. Your dinner's ready. All right, Millie. Oh, if you wasn't such a good old fool and so helpless, I swear to goodness I believe in you and go back to civilization alone. Oh, now, Millie, I... I'll go back if I don't strike the pay dirt soon. Just let me try a little while longer. If we don't strike it before the cold weather, I'll give up. Is that a promise? Yep. Oh, say, Millie, the sheriff says he thinks that this here lone ranger must eat off in gold dishes, too. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> I think you're nothing but a doggone zipper. <laughs> <laughs> That evening in the essay office, the new man in charge had a visitor and... What's up, Logan? You had word you wanted to see me about something important. And so I do, Pete. Forget my name is Pete, you blame fool. Call me Scruggs while I'm around town here. I wouldn't want the sheriff to know that Arizona Pete was right under his <laughs> nose. <laughs> Reckon he's pretty sore about you getting away. Yeah. Just what you want with me. Here's a point. You said something to me when I got a job here in the essay office. I says lots of things. Just which one are you referring to? Come over closer. I've got to speak soft-like. Well, go on and speak. You said when a sample of real good ore come in, I should let you know. Meaning you got a good sample? I've seen some fine samples of ore. But this hunk that old Ezra Houghton brought in yesterday is the best I ever seen. It's got the golden curry mine licked to a frazzle. You ain't fooling. Why should I be fooling? Look, here's the essay. Is that honest? Yep. 
And Ezra ain't even staked out the claim yet. He ain't? No. He says he's the only one knows where the place is, and he reckoned he'd wait and see if it was worthwhile before he staked out his claim. Who have you told about this here sample? I ain't told no one, not even Ezra yet. <laughs> ain't that great now? Logan, that there claim is going to be ours. Yeah? Yep. When I spoke to you, I had a scheme in mind. We're going to stake the claim for ourselves. You mean we get hold of old Ezra and make him tell where it is? No, I got a better scheme on that. Well, go on. We get the stake and the claim for that mine. Then I get out of sight and you run for it. You got to be careful, Pete. They knowed you was here to go hard with you. The only one I'm worried about is a lone ranger. And he ain't in this part of the country. Blast his hide. I hope to goodness he stays away. He'd better. The next time I meet him, he'll pay for what he done to me. You're plenty worried about him, ain't you, Pete? I tell you, the man ain't human. But I'm going to get him someday if it's the last thing I do. Me too. But I tell you, Pete, we got to be awful quiet till we get that claim for the mine. And what'll I tell old Ezra? When's he coming in again? Today. Good enough. Tell him it was a good sample he brought, you see. Mm, that won't be no lie. And tell him it's just like another sample that you've seen come in, see? He'll rush right off to stake out his claim and build his hut and fireplace so he can hold the land by law, you see. Yeah, but he'll get Sheriff Curry. Don't worry not about the sheriff. You'll never recognize me, not without my beard. Maybe not. Anyway, while he's going after the sheriff, we stake our claim. One of us rides to town to file it while the other stands guard over the place. The one that's waiting builds a hut and fireplace there. And then let Ezra try and prove he was the first one there. <laughs> we can do it easy. Everyone knows that Ezra Holton never would find any ore worth a darn. So what's that? Something smashed that window. Look there on the table. It's a knife. And a note on it. Who done it? What's that note say? Read it, Logan. Wait now. I don't see no one outside there. Never mind that. What's the note say? Uh, well, it's for you, Pete. It, it says Arizona Pete. Who knows I'm in town? Just a second. I'm reading it. What's it say? It says, how is your hand? Who, who wrote it? Gosh, Pete, it, it signed the Lone Ranger. Hear him? Let me get to that window. Hey, stop your shooting. You want the sheriff to come here? I seen him. I seen him. Where'd he come from? Where's he going? He's riding away. Gosh, how that guy can ride. The next day found Ezra calling once again at the essay office. There's a new fella, Millie. Howdy, Mr. Logan. Oh, hello, Ezra. Got good news for you. Huh? Good news about the say? The ore you brought in to me is first rate. It's real pay dirt. It is if the whole thing is like the sample you showed me. Gosh, I, I just grabbed a few hunks at random. There's a lot more. And you're lucky if your claim's good and clear. Sure it is. Ezra, you've done it. You found the real pay dirt after all these years. Oh, I just can't believe it. Gosh, Millie. <laughs> you better make sure your claim, Ezra. Oh, sad. I had another sample. It was a lot like that one of yours, I said. You did? Gosh, I'll make sure the title all right. But there won't no one else ever find the place I found. Millie. Millie, we're going to be rich. Rich. Come on over to the bar, Logan. I'll buy you a drink. You'll do nothing in the thought, Ezra Holton. You'll march right back and pack a mule and start for your claim. So it'll be staked out according to the law. Yeah, Millie. Now, you ain't no time to waste now. Here, young man, I'll take charge of that estate. Come on, Ethram. Move along. All right, Pete, come on. I heard what you told him, Logan. You're just right. Now we'll just follow Mr. Ezra Holden, see? That's a talk, Pete. I told you not to use my name. Oh, all right, all right. You needn't be so blame jumpy. That there Lone Ranger knows you anyways. I'll ask him. I'm going to dream about that there voice of his. I don't like it. Oh, shucks, he won't do nothing more. You say that because you never met up with him face to face like I did. Except for his mask, that is. Yeah, come on now. Get someone to take charge of the office and we'll follow Ezra. <laughs> Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
And now to continue our story. Arizona Pete and Logan, the new man in the assay office, knowing that Ezra Holton had made a rich gold strike, followed the old prospector when he left town to stake out his new claim. Pete and Logan continued to dog the old miner's trail and... Gosh, ain't that old fool never going to stop hiking? If I'd known as far as this, I'd have took the horses. Yeah, but don't mind, Logan. We'll get paid for our trouble. Look at the way he's acting. He must be getting close to the place. You don't suppose these suspicions we're following him, do you, Pete? No, there ain't nothing to worry about. Trouble is, Sheriff Curry's nobody's fool, Pete. Never mind, Sheriff Curry. I ain't worried. Say, look, he's stopping now. Reckon this is the place? I reckon. What do we do now? Move up close as we can without him noticing us. Then walk up and tell him he's jumped our claim, see? Yeah, but Pete, the law says you have to have a shack to be able to claim the land. A shack and a fireplace. We'll have them things. You have time to build a shack and such like when I'm going to town to get the claim file? Plenty. Don't you worry, I tell you. It'll work out slick. While he's going to town to get the sheriff, you can get there ahead of him, file a claim, and I'll stay and build. <laughs> That's good, Pete. When Ezra gets back with the sheriff and sees we got our place all set up and in good order, he can't do nothing about it, huh? Sure. We gotta be careful, though. They strings claim jumpers up pronto without no trials around here. <laughs> That'll be Ezra's worry, not ours. <laughs> Look, he started to chop down wood for the lean-to. He ain't wasting no time. Come on, let's get it over there. Yeah, you'll have to do the talking. Yep. I'll send a couple of slugs over his head to scare him. Hey, you, Holton, don't touch your gun. Uh, what's this mean, Jeff? I got you covered. I ain't gonna try nothing. Why, it's Mr. Logan. You turn right, it's me. I thought them samples all looked familiar, you claim jumper. Huh? This here land belongs to me and my partner, Logan. Now, that can't be right, mister. I don't see no claim stuck up hereabouts. And if you know the law, you can't stake a claim without a fireplace and a shack. Well, let me tell you something. This here land is mine, Holton. I'm giving you just about two seconds to clear out, and then I'll have my partner fill you full of lead. But this ain't nobody's land yet, and, and I... By golly, I see it all now. You fellas figured on getting my gold and staking the claim before me, is that it? Try and prove it. But hang it all, gents, that ain't right. <laughs> I'll just take this hunk of paper with Holton's name on it down and put up a piece that's easier on the eyes with the name of Logan. And now, Holton, you better get along. Uh, who are you? None of your business. I'm a partner of Logan's. I'm going for the sheriff, that's what. That's the time you said a lot of words, mister. You're going for the sheriff, all right, but you're going as my prisoner. Trying to jump my claim was a big mistake. Now she here. Shut up. You take Holton along with you, Logan. I'll stay here to keep off other claim jumpers till you get back with the papers. Now she's here, fellas. Shut up and get going. With Ezra Holton headed for town as Logan's prisoner, Arizona Pete worked on a shack and the construction of a fireplace at the side of the claim. <laughs> there, I reckon that'll do for a fireplace and shack. Now let him come. Uh, guess I'll turn in the morning. They won't be coming along this way no more tonight. Arizona Pete. But, what? Who? I gave you a warning the last time we met. The mask man. The Lone Ranger. Right. What do you want? I want to speak to you. You are trying to steal Ezra Holton's claim, aren't you? Where are you? I can't see you. I don't intend for you to see me. But what are you going to do? Arizona, I came here to warn you. I'll give you one more chance. Don't try to steal this claim. But see That's here. All. You've been warned. The next time I shoot, I may not shoot at your gun. But, but listen, Lone Ranger. Goodbye, Pete. Hey, hey, where are you? Come on, Silver! Is it, Millie, I wish you wouldn't come with me to that oh. claim. I, I wish you'd turn back. Well, I'm a come in anyhow, Esri. Land yeah. sake. The idea you trying to steal Mr. Logan's claim. Millie, I tell you, I didn't. He says you did. He didn't have no claim at all. Him and his part stole it from me. But Esri, the sheriff himself says that Mr. Logan had his claim filed. Sure he did, Millie. But that was just more of his crooked work. Why didn't you file it before you went back to stake it off? I told you a man's got to have a house and a fireplace afford he can lay claim to land. Has Logan? He didn't have, but he says he hasn't lied about it. By the time we get back there, his part will have it built. Yes, right. 
Reckon you better stop telling tits like that about me. I don't like it. Why, you... I'm staying right alongside of you till I see what's going to happen. Get up there. Yeah. Why is this place you was trying to steal, Ezra? Ain't much further, Sheriff. But I want... Curry, what the boys with you do to Ezra? I'm right sorry, Mrs. Holton. Ezra's always been a good fella. But if he was trying to jump a claim like Mr. Logan says he is... I'll he... prove he was. He might go kind of hard with him. I reckon it wouldn't be the kind of a thing for a woman to see. Maybe you better do as Ezra says and go back to town. I'll do no such thing, Sheriff. Let her come along, Sheriff. I reckon it'll be a lesson for her to tell the others in town if she sees her man strung up for claim jumping. Strung up? Sheriff, they wouldn't do that. Well, the law out here is fast and sure, Mrs. Holden. There ain't no law if you let this coyote steal my land. Sheriff, I don't aim to stand for that kind of talk from him. Better watch your tongue, Ezra. I'll see you get a fair and square chance to prove your rights. There's the place and there's my partner. Hi there, Pard. Millie, that robber's done like I said he would. He's built a shack and a fireplace. Oh, 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 oh. There you are, Sheriff. There's our land and the shack and the fire and all. The Pard's cooking his breakfast in the fireplace now. You got back sooner than I thought you would, Logan. It's faster on a horse and on foot. Howdy, Sheriff. I reckon you don't know me, but I'm Logan's partner. Howdy. I'm glad to see you brought along a good-sized posse with you. This here Holton's a bad one, even though he does look kind of peaceable. He ain't nothing of the kind. Now then, Ezra, it's up to you to prove he got any right to this land. I was here first. He come into my office, Sheriff, and he hands me a sample of ore for a safe. And I see it's good ore right off. I compared it to the samples that me and my partner had taken from this here ground and see it was the same. So I figured we'd better come and make sure of our claim. Yep, and we done that. And see this fellow Holton making ready to tear up our claim and stick up one of his own. That's a lie! You know it is. There's our shack and fireplace, Sheriff. Yeah, I see. Well, according to law, Ezra, a claim can't be filed until you've built a fireplace and a cabin on it. These men got their claim filed yesterday and dated the 17th of the month. But there weren't no shack here yesterday. They say there was. There's our notice, Sheriff, stuck up in plain sight. We first put that there on the 15th, as you can see by the date. That protects the land till we get a regular claim, don't it? According to the law, it does. Ezra Holton was just trying to steal our claim. Sheriff, listen to me. You gotta listen. They wasn't near here. Never noted the place till they followed me. Sorry, Ezra. The law is the law. Come on, Holton. You got any proof, let's have it. And if you ain't, the sheriff can have his men do their duty. I reckon that tree yonder will do for a rope, Sheriff. I ain't got no proof. But, Sheriff, you know I ain't never lied to no one. I reckon we ought to let Ezra go with a warning this time, Logan. Why? Because he's always been a law-abiding fella. I hate to see him swung up. He's going to swing. I know the law and I know my rights. You've got to perform your duty. Ezra, I'm sorry. Sheriff, Sheriff, you can't hang Ezra. He ain't meant to do no harm. Hold that woman, you fellas. Here, I got the rope, Sheriff. Uh, Ezra, the law is the law. These fellas say you got to swing for claim jumping. I reckon you'll have to do it. But, Sheriff, I tell you, that's my land. It ain't theirs. They jumped my claim. Can you prove you found that claim before the 15th? No. No, hang it. But neither did they. Come on, get it done with. But I I don't want to die. Israel, Israel. Bring him over here, boys. I got the rope already. We'll learn the power lesson. Come on, Ezra. Get on your horse. Do I have to tie your hands? No. You don't have to tie my hands. I can take it like a man. Let me go. Let me go. Hang on to her, gents. Bring his horse over a mite closer, Sheriff. I'm downright sorry, Ezra. That I am. This ain't one of the times I like the job of sheriff. I know, Sheriff Curry. It ain't you. There ain't nothing you can do about it. It's it's those thieves. Got that rope tied right, Logan? Sure thing. Slip it over his head and make sure it's tight. I will, partner. Millie. Goodbye, Millie. She was taken back by the boy so she couldn't see Ezra. They thought it was better that way, you see. You, you'll you take care of her, Sheriff. See, see that she don't starve. Uh, count on me, Ezra. Hang it, ain't there any way you can prove you was here afore the 15th? Ain't you got no papers or nothing? Nothing but my say-so, Sheriff. They they tore up my paper. Already. It's up to you, Sheriff. The rope's set. Slap his horse out from under him and it's all over. All right. Goodbye, Ezra. So long, Sheriff. Come on! Here, come someone. He's right hard. Come on, white horse. Who's this coming? He's wearing a mask. He's coming. Sheriff, slap that horse. This guy's ready to hang. Slap him. Drop that rope. Don't let him you draw a gun. Take off that mask. There's one man here who knows me. Arizona Pete. Arizona Pete? Is he here? Arizona I hope he'll draw his gun. He'll be too slow, though, because he knows his game is up. Say, look out, Sheriff. Make him watch that horse. He's letting our fireplace get smashed by that horse. Arizona Pete, go for your gun. No, oh, my hand blast you. Your hand doesn't hurt. I just shot your gun away. Sheriff, 
Take a look in what's left of the fireplace. Come on, Silver. They shot my partner. So your partner is Arizona Pete, eh? Yeah. No, no, he Why, ain't. you double-cross him. Sheriff, I'm not Arizona. Yes, you are. Boys, get him. Don't let him get away. I recognize him now. Sheriff, that man was the Lone Ranger. Blast him. That's it, boys. Tie him tight. Now I reckon that changes matters some. This time, Pete, you're going to hang without waiting for no trial. Jake, look at Logan. He's going for the fireplace. Oh, no, you don't, Logan. Keep away from there. And just take a look there and see what the masked man was referring to. Millie. Hey, you all right? It didn't hurt you? Yeah, hold on. There's a tin can in the bottom of the fireplace. That ain't nothing. You'll be still, Logan. I reckon maybe with you having Arizona Pete for a partner, maybe Ezra was telling the truth after all. Uh, wh- what's that can, Millie? I don't know, Ezra. By tongue it. Ezra, there's a claim notice in this year can. And it's yours. Mine? Yes, sir. And she's dated the 14th, the day of all of this crook's claim is dated. But, uh... Esri, why didn't you say you had that there? That's all the proof you need. But I thought those crooks tore it up. The heck they did, Ezra. I reckon this here mine is yours now. And I reckon Logan's a claim jumper. No, no, I ain't. Ezra, you and Millie get back and file your notice now. Me and the boys has a little job to do here. Yeah, sure I'll take that rope off your neck. Esri, that was the Lone Ranger that saved you. Gosh, Millie. I'd, I'd like to know how that there claim notice came to be under the fireplace. I bet that lone ranger could tell. What are you complaining about? <laughs> tell me, Ezra, now that you're going to be so rich, what are you aiming to do with your money? Golly, I, I reckon, Sheriff, first I'll buy me two mules and name one Arizona Pete and the other Logan and then whale the tar out. <laughs> <laughs> There's a venture on the trail ahead! I owe Silver! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.